Torah tells us that the reason why Noach survived the Mabel because Noach Motzachem Yenei Hashem. But it's not clear what was the special favor he had fi- found in the eyes of Hashem. So we had discussed it in the past. However, there's a midrash which we see from the midrash differently that the chain was for another reason, unrelated to himself on a personal level, because the Gemara tells us there were many tzaddikim at the time of the great flood, but they all perished, that since it was midas adin, and within the context of the exactness of din, nobody could be perfect enough. But Noach, it was unrelated to his own level of perfection, but rather it was motzachem b'nei Hashem, he found special favor in the eyes of Hashem. So the Midrash tells us, Omre bavo, we find that Hashem does for the latter in the merit of those from the previous generations. Well, from the previous generation. Where do we find that even the ones prior, Hashem does on, the, uh, uh, on their behalf, on beha- because of something which will happen in the future? Noach found special favor in the eyes of Hashem. What was the merit? B'schus told Osef in the merit of his children. Shenema El told us Noach, Noach, Noach. These are the told us Noach. So why did Noach survive the great flood? Because he was meant to have, he had those three sons. Therefore what? Shem Chom V'yefes, his three sons. That's why he was found, he found special chain favor in the eyes of Hashem. There's a Midrash based on the Posuk that the Posuk tells us that Yaakov was Podes Avrom, that Yaakov had redeemed Avrom. So the Midrash tells us that Avrom was thrown into the kiln of fire and he came out alive. Why? Because since ultimately he was meant to have a grandson. Yaakov Vinu said his merit he survived the kiln. How do we understand this? Simply, Avram Avinu gave his life, Al Kiddush Hashem, sank for God's name, now to bow, bow to the idol. Why did he perish at that moment? Because if he would have perished, there wouldn't have been a Yaakov. If there wouldn't have been a Yaakov, there wouldn't have been Shifte Ko. We wouldn't have had the 12 tribes, there wouldn't have been a Klal Yisrael. The objective of creation would have never been met. The objective of creation is that there should be a Torah, and the only nation which has relevance to the Torah are only Klal Yisrael. Therefore, as a result of this, Avram had to survive the kiln because Yitzchok hadn't yet been born. If there's no Yitzchok, there's no Yaakov. So since ultimately had to be Yaakov, ya- Yaakov was Podes Avram. Yaakov had redeemed Avram. We read in Hazinu, Yatsev Gvulus Amim. God set up the, the boundaries of nations, the 70 nations. Why are the 70 nations? It corresponds to the Shivim Nefesh, to the 70 individuals who went down to Mitzrayim with Yaakov Vino. So Rashi of the Sites Chazal, at the time of the Dora Floga, when he, the generation of dispersion wanted to destroy them, he should have destroyed all of them. Why did he set up 70 nations? Because among those nations were the progeny of shame. And since Klal Yisrael had to come from shame, therefore the 70 nations were established because there had to be a Klal Yisrael. Because shame had to survive. And in the merit of shame, you have all the nations of the world. Because ultimately, we descend from shame. Avram Avinu was a descent from shame. So therefore, what do we see? So what's Noach Matzachem in Hashem? One of the sons of Noach was shame. Shame ultimately is what? Is the father of what? Of Avram Avinu, of Klal Yisro. Therefore, it says from here we see that the latter, that the earlier merit because of the latter. Noach was Mozachain because ultimately he was going to have shame. And true shame? Shame is, is Klal Yisro. As Yaakov was Pode Avram, shame was Pode Noach. This is the Mozachain in Hashem. The Ramchal writes in one location, we find Rosh Vitovlo. He gives many reasons why Russia Vitovlo. So he explains very often a Russia is meant to have in the future generations a descendant. For instance, we find that 
Gemara says that B'nei Bodov Shel Sancherim Lom Nimtor B'nei Brak Shmai Vav Talion the Rabbeim of Hill and Shammai were actually were converts. They had been the descendants of Sancherim who wanted to destroy Klal Yisrael. B'nei Bodov Shel Hom and Harosha Lom Nimtor B'nei Brak. But factually, so the reason why their predicament was positive was unrelated in themselves because they had to exist and they couldn't be destroyed at a certain point because there had to be future generations because from those future generations something positive would come out. This is Rosh Tovlo. So as a result of that, this is one of the reasons why it's Tovlo because of the future. Identically, Noach in his own right based on Midas Adin couldn't survive. But since they had to be a Klal Yisrael unrelated to Midas Adin, therefore Noach was Mozo Chein Beni Hashem. Thank you.